expect that from you. I expect intellectual honesty, man. And I'm going to hold your feet to the fire just like I would my own dad. I've got to, or a brother that I look up, an older brother. Okay, but I, I mean, I'm not trying to, it doesn't, look, I don't care about being anybody. I don't care about being famous. I don't care about being rich. I don't care about being better than anybody. I am the least of men. I, I'm in that category with the guy that's going to die out in the cold tonight. Better men and women than me are going to die out in the cold tonight. God knows my heart. I'm torn and frayed, man. I've had it up to here. I'm done witnessing this evil in our land. I hate it so much with a passion. You see why I voted for Trump? Because he's ashamed of homelessness in America. We've got to end it. And if it means that rents and mortgages go down and housing costs go down and housing precious values go down who cares you want to play crony capitalism in the real estate market play it with the high-end stuff man the mansions and all that crap leave the low-hanging fruit alone let the poor working class couple have their hopes and dreams of middle class home ownership okay the american dream okay so that's what a basic income would do okay it's your fault that that homeless guy pushed that guy because he needed to commit a more heinous crime so he pushed the innocent passerby out into the street to get run over by a truck. If you're opposed to basic income and getting this damn cat skinned any damn way we can, present your own ideas, but we need to fix it once and for all. No more volleyball game here. Oh, the libs are in charge. It's their fault. Oh, they're, the Dems are, the Republicans are, it's their fault. Uh, the conservatives' fault. It, it's the socialists' fault. It's the capitalists' fault. Oh, blah. You know what? You sicken me. All of you make me sick to my stomach. I am done. I've had it up to here. I'm done playing with you people. Okay, I want the problems fixed permanently, and I'm not alone. A lot of people do. I want to see that we're on a new trajectory. I want to see it on a graph. Before I ever take a, 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 a breath, of, a, a sigh of relief, okay, and let my guard down, I'm going to have to see some tangible progress, okay? And that's another word that's now a pejorative. Oh, it's a progressive, which we know that a lot of these people, they put a label on, I'm a progressive, and then they go out and do these anti-progressive, regressive things. Right. Like these taxes. OK. In France and all over the world. California's got look at the gas price in California. We're paying a dollar more than the rest of the country in taxes on gas per gallon. That's coming out of the That's a tax on the poor. Do you understand? They're taxing the poor. Whose fault is that? All these problems are emanating from on high. How does Alex Jones talk about how these problems emanate from on high? How often does he point that out? That this fiscal, uh, the, the untenable state, fiscally untenable state, where they just want to raise taxes, tax and spend, is this is the only solution. It's all coming from the top. They're just emulating their masters, the Federal Reserve, the money masters of misery, the money printing class, and their political whores that go along with this thing. That's why I derogatorily call them the politicos. Yeah, I mean it. They're like the communists. I mean, they're just, they're fascist. Not the good kind of communism. Not the good kind of socialism. They're the kind that say, you know, hey, just, you know, these people are stupid. The masses are stupid, so we're going to trick them. They don't know that it's coming out of their hide, so they're going to vote for higher taxes. We got them believing that's the answer. Vote higher taxes, and somehow you'll benefit. Just go with the flow, the path of least resistance, the status quo, the establishment. Okay, you got your 401k. Shut up. Your parents are rich landlords. Just go with this program. So they've got uh, people in a stupor. They've got people mesmerized. Okay, and, and they think that somehow that this is going to work. And it's I'm telling you, folks, it is utterly failed. And the people that have pulled our strings and into this mess, this dire state, this sinking ship of fools, okay, there's, they don't have an answer. Like I said, they, the answer is just to get rid of the vast majority of people as they figure out and they become empowered and enlightened. And they're ready to take them on in any intellectual venue they, that they have to. If it's in the halls of Congress, if it's a, on the mainstream media, they'll, they'll, they're ready. They're ready to enlighten people and tell them, look, don't buy the lie, okay? Don't buy this whole idea that we're going to fix things with this Robin Hood, this socialist idea of taxing the rich, okay? It won't work. You've got lawyers. Unless you're going to get rid of all the lawyers out there, which you know you're not, and you wouldn't want to if you could, okay, who will find happily find them plenty of legal loopholes to evade. Oh, not evade. Avoid. Avoid paying taxes. 
then they will. Those are the ones that can comfortably pay the bills of society. They're not going to do it. But that's the kind of socialism they want you to believe is going to happen. So they got you got in your head, you think you're an egalitarian, you're a socialist, believe in equality and all that, sharing the wealth. But they're tricking you, I'm telling you. It won't work. So get on board the capitalist train and be educated. Be knowledgeable. Know your stuff. Know what supply and demand capitalism brings. Know what true capitalism is and distinguish it from pseudo-capitalism and crony capitalism, fascism. Point out all the coll collusive special interest groups, how the government's involved, why the government's involved. All the real estate agents out there, all the property managers, all the landlords, all the lenders who benefit more. Remember, the jobs are based on commission. They get paid more. The price of something goes up, they get a higher because a percentage, a percentage. So the commission is a percentage. So the higher they drive the prices, manipulate markets, silently collude together, the more money they make. And you're outside the circle. So this is anti-capitalism working. And it's just creating this wealth and income disparity. It's creating what's worse than a third world country. People are going to want to leave America. They're going to be looking for greener pastures. But the evildoers at the top, the globalist cabal, the New World Order bunch, that Daddy Bush was a part of these, they are wrecking things up first, making sure there's no place to run, no viable place. So you're stuck. It's like They've corralled us into America onto the sinking ship of fools and telling you, here, come up here, just get on the bandwagon. Come on, it's late, but better late than never. Jump, you know, jump on even though the wheels, you can see them, they're coming off. But, you know, oh, trust us, trust, trust us. Get to the high end of the ship. No, we're going to do something. We're going to pull, we're going to pull a fast one. You know, they get you to use your own imagination. They don't have any ideas. They say, well, well maybe they're going to put some airbags in there and the ship, at the high end of the ship is just going to stay afloat forever. So just come up here. But they don't have any airbags, right? They don't have any that are going to work. The ship's going down. But they, they want, you know, misery loves company, so they'll drag you on board. That's what's happening. You're being tricked onto the top part of the ship. But when that finally goes down, it creates a vortex, a whirlpool, that's going to suck you down to a watery grave along with these elitists that are on the highway to hell. Remember, it's these elitists, the hypocrites. You don't want to be a little one, and you don't want to be a medium one, and you don't want to be a big one. Okay, you don't want to have anything to do with these people. Okay? If you're to be numbered among the righteous, those to be found worthy and deserving of inheriting a better world, you've got to know what you're looking for. So you cultivate now with this small window of opportunity you have that world. Okay, what's it going to be like, this world of tomorrow? When God really is ruling, when we don't have evil people ruling our lives, it, by trickery, sorcery, alchemy, that's really what a magic, I mean, it's what it amounts to, fraud, deceit, delusion, confusion, ignorance. They maintain power over us by these things, and it, that day is ending. It's the end of the age, the beginning of a new age is dawning. When people are enlightened, when enough people start getting it, then we're going to see things change. We're going to see the worm turn. We're going to see the trajectory go from currency debasement to currency reworthment, where it goes up like it's supposed to under true capitalism and progress. So, yeah, I, I mean, I'll live without the basic income, but you know what? People are going to die, and it's not fiscally prudent, but, you know, it's like a perverted form of liberalism that you're prescribing to, calling yourself a fiscal conservative. I mean, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. So, you know, I love, like I said, love to see things happen gradually, but, you know, they're not. They're not allowing it to happen. They're just putting roadblocks in the way of any successes by the people at large, the masses. And then mainly it's just confusion and ignorance. And people just saying, hey, it hurts my head. I prescribed an ignorance is blissful. Don't, don't bother me with the facts and the details and, you know, all this vast knowledge you have of economic principles and capitalism versus socialism and the political correlation of democrat republican conservative liberal all he just he confuses me that so i choose my little form of confusion i'll just stick to denial thank you very much so this is a problem we have a big problem and so I don't know where it's going to end. All I know is that it's got to change. It's going to change and jump ship. The sooner you get away from that sinking ship, the further you're away from that whirlpool, that vortex dragging you down to a watery grave in hell, okay, the better off you're going to be. 
because the world of tomorrow is going to be a place where nobody has an advantage. Furthermore, nobody wants an advantage. And it's a place where you got to really want. You've got to be zealous for it. So it can't be just a ho-hum. Yeah, I guess if that's God's will, you know, I'll take it. You know, but I really, you know, I like money. And, you know, I just think losers are the ones that are successful and they complain. And just because they're failures, they're weak and lazy or whatever. And they don't want to work hard for what they have.